You do that better than Eli. Yeah, that's true. What do you mean? You're what? much larger than him, though. So. You want beef? Can't open a can. <laughs> well, no, he has little ch- children fingers. He's so. got little little tiny shitty fingers. Little, Don't worry about anything. little nubs. <laughs> He's just got <laughs> Eli's short. That's all that matters. Yeah. You know. Hi everyone! Welcome to the Unsubscribe Podcast. We're here with Operator Drewski. <laughs> Where are we going <laughs> with that? <laughs> right. Somebody uh, had to do it. Uh, so we got Operator Drewski here. Um, hello. Our friend Drew, who hasn't wanted to hang out with me since I moved all the way to Texas <laughs> just to hang out with him. It's been over six months now. Seven Literally, months. it's over six, seven, mm-hmm. almost eight months. Almost eight Actually, months. it's been over eight months. It's been eight months. That 30 minute drive, man, it's a long one, all right? <laughs> Oh, if now I'm hurting. You guys don't know Operator Drewski. He's got a rather large YouTube channel do where you he do plays. YouTube? Is that what you do? Do you do YouTube? No, no. Okay, no, no. he okay. doesn't Facebook do YouTube stream. or something. <laughs> Have you ever streamed on Facebook? I was a partner Facebook streamer for a year and a half. I didn't mm-hmm. know you could do that. Yep. Yeah, I, I was one of the first people to, like, I was one of the first 40 streamers that were uh, streaming, like, partnered on Facebook, like, signed with Facebook. You don't do that anymore? Nope. I went back to Twitch. Thank no, God. Don't blame me. I almost had to tell you to leave it. It was going to be real awkward with just me and Donut on the podcast today. Right? Super weird. I'm glad you came by, man. Even though this is two hours after we told you. Uh, <laughs> so, so, Batty planned to have Operator Drewski on the podcast. I really wanted to do it, and then we forgot. And then we were like, let's do it again. <laughs> and I was like, 1 p.m. tomorrow. I checked in with everybody yesterday. I was like, yeah. Set my alarm for 11 today so I'd wake up at, you know, still lazy people hour, but not quite 2 p.m. And then I woke up at 11. And then I show up. Okay, listen. <laughs> before you showed up, some things happened. And then happened. I showed up five minutes early for 1 p.m. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, maybe maybe they're all like getting breakfast or something and Batty's just not answering his phone on the day of. I was like, hmm, this might be a... I, just have I may it. have uh, <laughs> fell in, fallen. I may have snoozed a little bit. <clears throat> you fell into goth hooters. I fell. I dove straight into goth hooters and fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up at 11 and then I promptly look at my phone. and was like, I got five more minutes. And then it was 118 and I had a missed call from Drew and I <laughs> woke up. Drew, I'm here. No. <laughs> I was like, I'm already going to eat breakfast with donut. Bye, Batty. <laughs> We grabbed some brekkie, but mm-hmm. you know, I, I kind of forgot to. You guys hit me up late yesterday when I was already a little deep in your cups, a little deep in my. Cups. <laughs> so, I was on my way to get my truck today, and Drew's like, "I'm outside Batty's house. What do I do?" And I'm like, "Oh, well, oh you said shit. this was a, You said you better check out the studio. So I didn't know if this was your house, but I was like, both of Batty's trucks are here. So I was like, yeah, I was like, is this a studio? And you're like, no, you mean Batty's house? I was like, oh, so he's asleep inside the house. <laughs> So I fucked up. Listen, we got to go have breakfast. We wasted like three hours of Drew's time. It's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Donut. Thank you, bro. Happy Drew, happy Father's Day. You don't know yet, but now you do. Shit. You're a father. <laughs> um, hopefully I'm not a father. Have y'all checked? <laughs> uh, yeah. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> happy Father's Day. I yeah, mean, this Father's isn't going to come out on everyone. Father's Day. This is going to no. come out in like a month. Just if you forgot your your dad to call your dad today, at in least a week, call him, call him, call him now. Yeah, as you you're should. hearing this, but like, Dad, I forgot, I was busy. Just say it's Father's Day. Father's Day. Then he might have forgotten. Honestly, That's your true. father probably forgot too. Yeah. And then you know he might not call you out for being an idiot if you say Happy Father's Day, Dad, because he feels <laughs> bad because you're stupid. Dude, he or he'll be like, Fuck, I forgot it was Father's Day. Whoa, good thing he remembered. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> Oh, thank you, son. <laughs> Because as men, we obviously will never admit we're wrong. So. Ever. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Drew, rather large YouTube channel. Uh, what do you play primarily? I do a lot of realistic shooter games. The the Anything you can think of in large scale, big open battlefields or flight sims as well. Been doing that a lot recently. Your flight sim stuff's cool. Dude, I've been getting I, into flight I, sims a lot I this last know. year. That's the one so like I've never really gave I've mm. tried Arma so many times and I just don't give a fuck. Yeah, no, Arma Arma takes it takes you it takes playing with a certain group of people. You have to have the right team to, to play. For sure. Yes, just like that in squad. If you're honestly. playing with the wrong group of people, it can ruin like the game can be terrible. It's it's almost like Dungeons and Dragons. You can play with a good group of guys and you have an awesome experience. You play with a uh, a baddie sort of person, you have a terrible experience. <laughs> <laughs> no. Honestly, that's that's the the perfect analogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the wrong group, it sucks nut. 
Yeah. But yeah. your flights and stuff is actually really fun to watch. It's it's really fun to do because I started uh, flight sim. I had a guy, uh, Ralphie Dude, he's another YouTuber yep. on DCS. Um, he trained me to fly. Uh, by the way, DCS is... Digital Combat Simulator. There Sorry. you go. It's, it's big, a, it's big flight sim. Big flight sim, yeah. He told me how to fly a one-to-one F-18, where, like, you click every single button in the cockpit, yeah. and it, it you have to learn the startup process. You have to learn exactly how the plane works and how the radars function and Do you stuff. Have, you have flight sticks. Mm-hmm. Do you have all the, the yeah, bells and I, whistles? Or I is have, it just two sticks and a keyboard I have still? stick, throttle, and I have a control pad as well, okay. and then also some keyboard stuff that's bound, just custom keys, but... uh. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun because I went buy, from like an actual went from actual. Seat. Oh, dude, could you get into an F eighteen right now and fly it? That's the question a lot of people ask. I if I if you put me in an F eighteen and you could me, take off though, I could take off. He could take off yeah. though. That's all that matters. <laughs> I think I could start it up if I remember the start process right. I think I could start up F eighteen up. I can definitely start up an A ten, and I can take it off. A lot of A tens. Yeah. Yeah. A ten mm. is a. But, but but the thing is these planes they have to be unclassified because these are one-to-one simulator planes so you can't get an f-22 to be a one-to-one sim because it's all classified so oh. this, oh, the developers of the game don't know what the real f-22 F- or f-35 oh, is so like they're just mashing up a couple of jets so that we're they can. we're flying like a 1988 block two f-18 fighter you know we're, we're flying we're flying old aircraft or old aircraft but yeah. you're still flying an f-18 and it's fun going from being an absolute noob in the community to now like actually doing really good in PvP and like fighting against other players in less than a year. Like it's I mean it's a sim, so you have to learn so much to become good at the combat in that game, but it's Have you ever like actually fun. flown like in it? A- no. <laughs> <laughs> what if That's- we broke into um co- what if we commandeered an FA hypothetically and put Drew in the cockpit? Do you think it would be a ride or die situation where like he has to fly it or he dies? <laughs> like gun you know? to the head right now. So or you get arrested and federally charged by the United States government. So you can, you so gotta get away. You have to be able to fly the F eighteen. I've had a dream where I <laughs> awoke in the cockpit of an A ten and didn't know what to do. AKA we put you in one. We take the bag off your. We're head. like, <laughs> right. I'm like here you go, buddy. I'm Don't like kill us all. Flying above San Antonio, and I'm like visually looking for the airstrip. Like where am I? And like. I, I was a it was not a good dream. It was it was like my it was like my first week into learning the A ten. So I'm sitting in this cockpit and naked? the cockpit is huh, huh? naked in what? the you naked in the A ten. Yeah, were you naked in your dream? I I don't remember. I would love to be that's, naked. That's, it wouldn't yeah, have changed my a, fear though if I was. But yeah, <laughs> I mean your boner would be getting in the way. You know, flying that much freedom. Right. Which one do you? do? Furman doesn't know A ten is fucking warhog. It's it's literal freedom. A plane mm-hmm. that should have been retired forty years ago, but because it's so badass. The whole it, tail end of the A-10 is based off World War II bombers. It, like, like I said, it should have yeah. retired. Yeah, I guess if you look at it, yeah. No, yeah, it's no, like the no, flat, no, the no, flat, that. like, The A-10 has been in back. service longer than, like, anything? I don't know. Did they have A-10s in Vietnam? No, they had F-4 Phantoms. Uh, yeah, they had, they brought A-10s in in, like, Desert Storm, I think. It was okay. a little before. Mm. Yeah, but they were part of, of Storm and yeah. Shield, yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen the spent rounds from them? One of my the, the, one, is it like a huge, thirty millimeter? Yeah, one of my followers sent me one. It's like it, it's like looks like a shotgun shell, but twice as big, Jeez. and it's metal. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's freaking crazy. So that's sitting on my desk. Ow, big owie. Okay, so DCS is a big thing. Obviously, you I don't. Are you still doing a lot of Arma style? Yeah, yeah, I do a lot of Arma stuff. Okay, okay, yeah. I feel like oh. I'm looking at Donut and his son right now. The mustaches. I feel <laughs> right. like. Do you um okay so you said DCS? Do you remember when the the newest? It was, I think that's the newer flight simulator, right? Mm-hmm. When it came out and people were bullying other people by because you can fly around Google Maps yeah. basically, and people were bullying other people by taking screenshots of their houses and flying their planes <laughs> into them in the game and like recording it and sending it. To people. Wow, oh yeah, like cyber. Like I know where you live. Yeah, nine eleven cyber bullying. People. Also, a lot of streamers dox themselves by going, "That's my house." Oh, and then <laughs> oh, and shit. people look it up on. It's like you're looking. You're flying in Google Maps. Like people are gonna be able to just find that city and then find exactly what you're looking at and find your house. Uh, people got the dumb man. But then again, I'd probably do the same. Oh, like, oh, I'm going over that 
my house. house. <laughs> I'm going to fly into my parents' house now. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's all in good fun, though, Mom. I love you. Happy Father's Day, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad, fuck you. I know you listen to this shit. <laughs> I just flew an, an A-10 into your house. <laughs> fuck. Dark. So Arma, tell me about tell me about your your time in Milsim games because that's that was like Dude. a big thing for you for yeah I started I started doing Milsim for like five years ago probably mm-hmm. and it was, was it's that a lot started of fun. You, what started your YouTube channel? Uh, what's, no, what's that? That's man. what I want to know. Give me the lore so, to Operator Drewski. <laughs> uh, like 2010 Arma two, old game. That's where Daisy came from. Yeah, I remember. Uh, that. Arma two. We we're playing with a few bunch of friends and there was this redneck dude on the server who was really mad at us for i said like i said something like contact uh, 208 bearing 208 and you know we got guys like 200 meters out and this i guess guy that just graduated it's a boot me. camp here he, boy what you he mean said, contact he, he like said that. he was like you guys think you're so military you guys are 13 years old i've been there i've been in afghanistan i've fought war and just just ramp 13 years just old ranting at us huh were I, you 13 years i don't old? know i guess 14 probably close <laughs> enough <laughs> so, so, old. so uh <laughs> so <laughs> i guess no i was like i was like 15 when i started playing armor 2 a lot yeah fi- okay, probably okay, probably okay, 15 okay. uh but i uh he was like you guys think you're so operator and I was like, yeah, I think I'm so operator. He was like, well, you're not operators. And so I left the server, came back. I changed my name from Drewski to Operator Drewski, came back in, <laughs> and then he got pissed off. And then all my friends changed their name to Operator Rico, Operator, That's you know, awesome. Clutch or whatever. Uh, so we, we all came back and made him leave because he got mad. So, so you cyberbullied somebody. <laughs> we cyberbullied somebody, and that's how you my cyber name bullied, got created. cyberbullied a real soldier. Yes. <laughs> well, he cyberbullied real first. Real American here. <laughs> Stolen valor. Do you have a plate carrier? I do. Okay. Watch out, Lucas Why? from T Rex Arms. I don't know. <laughs> no. It's one of Matt's old plates, and I kind of just took it and didn't ask him. Was it so. one that he <laughs> shot? No. Wait, no. you just stole from Matt? Yeah. I've hey, Matt. I've stolen Matt's to our podcast. MDR. <laughs> no. No, he, d- he definitely does. He not doesn't listen, listen to our podcast. We I... say too many f words on this podcast. <laughs> oh, um, it's it's really fun getting your brother like three white claws in him, and, oh, he, and he starts he starts cursing a little bit. <laughs> It's like you're not so wholesome anymore, are you, Matt? That's family man torn (laughs) down by alcoholism. (laughs) (laughs) Oh no! Three white claws. I mean, (laughs) it's all downhill from three white claws. That's why why it's the brunch rule: three mimosas and then cut it off. Three mimosas Mm -hmm. and then we're done. Or we day drink all day, (laughs) which we wouldn't have done otherwise. (laughs) Oh geez, you did you play any um any of the? Because uh, I know with Arma the um, the DayZ mod was mm-hmm. that was the first introduction to DayZ, right? Yeah. Did you play any of that? Because that was super fun back in the day. I barely had internet fast enough. So so we live like right off of town in like a dirt road basically, mm-hmm. and so we never had good cable internet. We always had to rely on like shitty satellite and so oh, my internet was so bad mm-hmm. so i would have to connect to some server that was like in san antonio or in dallas and even if i did i would get kicked for ping <sighs> way too many times so i could barely play DZ. i played it on the tail end but yeah I, I played i played quite a lot of that game that was a that was like the the trendy game that that's the last trendy game i approve of i feel yeah. like there's like it's been Fortnite and PUBG, and they all kind of went downhill. But Daisy, it never. PUBG was fun when it was. Never launched. was bad. <laughs> don't you? Don't you? PUBG, PUBG was, was fun, fun when it was. Yeah. The early yeah, access. Early of PUBG, PUBG. As soon as it hit so 1.0, good. it was like so good. Mm, yeah. I'm done. That's how I moved to Tarkov. I went from mm-hmm. early access PUBG to Tarkov. Yeah. 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 I, I will admit, I played a lot of PUBG. So did Matt. Matt and I played a lot of PUBG. Matt played PUBG. Mm-hmm. Matt played. That was his. That's, that's his main game. He's that's played. how I met Matt. Really, I was in a, in one of the <laughs> same games he was in, and I was screaming at him to send me a DM or something. That's funny. it. Was when I was a little guy. I was like 100k followers or 100k subscribers at the time. Wow, and what he was a little cha- channel. He was. Cha- <laughs> I, still I mean, don't have any I mean, of those things he anywhere. Was, <laughs> he was chasing. I think it was like the zombie. It was the, they gave him oh, access yeah. to like the zombie thing. Yeah, we and, played the zombie mode. Yeah, and so he was running around just killing the zombies, and I was one of the zombies. I'm like, Matt, Matt, I DM'd you, my name's <laughs> Donut. <laughs> I was like trying to get That's his attention. That's funny. Yeah, that was that oh, one. God, I that was, was dude, <laughs> that was like 2016. Hey, hey Donut, hey, Donut, me back. Me back. <laughs> DM me right now. We want to get brank. Yeah, but he had like he had like a oh, hundred no. zombies. He was chasing around, just killing. Yeah, it was really cool. That was too. Oh, God, that, that was, was, that was probably in one of those matches. And I think the last video game I played with you guys, we did that Tarkov match last summer. 
We did a little bit of Tarkov. Yeah, yeah, I remember was, that. Yeah, yeah, we used to play Tarkov all the time. I think the last day True. we played was when you team killed me in the in the reserve. Was it, remember that reserve building where I came around the oh, corner? Dude, I, I F one. I F one. He snapped and killed me because he, he thought I was a scare. Me. So Drew, we were playing Tarkov. He tried to to give me a little spook by doing like some in game uh, voice comms, and I heard. And he was a bear, which is the Russian. <laughs> so he, it's even more <laughs> scary. He, which is the Russian faction in there. So I hear some Russian behind me, which is normally all the random AI scavs are always Russian. So I heard this panic turn snapped, and I just ripped his face off like I <laughs> <something. laughs> Oh, uh, and that was the last time Drew ever played a game with me. Yeah, oh, madness. That's but uh, you haven't played Tarkov really since, have you? Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> just not with me. I no, not with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, no, I played. I, I played a little bit this wipe, but I just feel like the content's kind of drier a little bit, yeah, and there's not a lot going on. And also, just yeah, I'm getting. I, I have the same. If you if you want to get my idea of like what Tarkov needs to be is just listen to clean on his oh, stream yeah, for about an hour. 100%. If you listen to clean, everything he says, hundred percent agree. I used to be like clean. You're saying stupid. Oh wait, no, he actually, okay. Everything he's saying, I agree with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It needs just more. It needs more. And also it's gone to this meta that really followed what Rainbow Six Siege turned into, which Ooh, yeah. Siege turned into a, you know, Siege was always a one-shot headshot game. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the faster rate of fire and the lower recoil you had, you were going to win. Best gun. So using anything interesting like a bolt-action sniper rifle or, I don't know, it, it, a, a semi-automatic AR, using semi-auto on an M4. Huge disadvantage. Huge. There's no reason to. Yep. It's just you don't do enough damage because game and you don't, you know, this is... I mean, it's that's dumb. what it is. It's bullet hoses. Yeah. It, it, right now, like, the meta in Tarkov is your MP7s, your Vectors, mm -hmm. uh, anything. High yeah. rate of fire, yeah, low HK 416s, anything you can do that you can fire as many bullets as fast as you possibly can yeah. Yeah. towards somebody's face. Exactly. There's no recoil. It's like a laser. Especially yeah, if, you're sure. just, laser if you have your stats up and you build your gun out good enough. It's just, that's mm -hmm. like that's why I, I, I people always complain because they, they come to <clears> talk to me about sniper shit all the time when I'm playing Tarkov. And I'm like, there's no point. Yeah. Like, you can shoot somebody three times with a bolt action gun in the game, mm -hmm. and they will not die unless you get him in the head, but there's no good way to snipe in Tarkov right now, because if you fire and you miss, there's no impact on the ground. You have no way to correct. You just have to know yeah. your distances. You, you have, have to, to have gone and practiced it offline or it's something. Really, or it's, been it's, there it's just very times. frustrating. Like, don't get me wrong. It's unbelievably rewarding when you fucking face tap somebody yeah. in Tarkov with a sniper rifle, but it's at a point where it's just not... there. There's... There needs to be a little bit more. Mm -hmm. and I don't. I don't know if they're gonna have to make like specific loadout grain count bullets for sniper rifles to actually do damage. But then, yeah. how do you balance that for an idiot running around without a scope and north sights, running, you know, just mm -hmm. moseying in, in factory close range <laughs> with a sniper? So, I'm glad to see that that, that they decided to put in a 338 Lapua Magnum AR though, because that really helped the game meta. That was definitely <laughs> what they should have done was put in the most unrealistic gun they could possibly <laughs> fucking do! Did they just do that? No, yeah, that's, that was like three months ago. Yeah. yeah, four months ago. They put in a 338 Lapua Magnum AR. Instead of a <laughs> bolt gun. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, no bolt gun, but an AR. I, it just... I, I don't see the point. Because, like, how many people do you know? Like, 338 Lapua Magnum ARs just aren't really a... There are... Yes, they're out. They exist, of course. But... Why? <laughs> Why couldn't they just add a bolt, a bolt gun? I, I, mean, I, don't like, think just, I don't think I've played it in three months since like that that came out. It's absurd. It's at, it's almost always so. There's two types of rounds. There's FMJs and there's AP. AP, you're dead. You just die. Oh yeah, for sure. Which is good because you should, but sometimes you don't, which is still weird because the thought of getting hit with a through through eight Lapua Magnum round and just being like, <laughs> "Nah, I'm gonna keep running." <laughs> it's just like your arms on the ground, sir. <laughs> I had that uh, that Vietnam sniper shot through the scope sort of moment uh, a few videos ago where I was running an SVD suppressed and we're fighting a guy with the Mark 18. And I get up above a ridge and I look around and I see, see a guy. I'm aiming down sight as I get shot in the forehead, but I'm wearing slap armor and a fast MT. And he was running the FMJ round. So it <laughs> destroyed the slap armor, almost destroyed the fast. The fast MT is like at 5 HP after this. And I, my entire screen is just camera blur, Gaussian blur, Adobe just Premiere. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then I, after the focus, after the focus comes back, I look and he's dead. And I'm just like, yes! <laughs> he just shot, headshot me. And as I headshot him, but he's oh, wearing a shemag. 
Oh, no helmet. Yeah. Could you just imagine <laughs> taking a three three eight Lapua Magnum oh. round to the dome? <laughs> Being oh. okay. and, <laughs> mean like forty five seconds later, I'm good. <laughs> You Jeez. would be unconscious for so long. <laughs> yeah. Ears bleeding, your skulls cracked behind the helmet, your neck's uh, broken, your brain's a pile of jelly. Yeah. That's what Tarkov doesn't account for is the internal damage that you get. Yeah, you... There's not, they the emotion, the emotional stress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are they going to add emotional damage to Tarkov? Right. PTSD. So you need a safe place in Tarkov now. You get the PTS. You have a PTSD kill us, kill meter. Kill running around you. You're hiding in a closet and you're just, your character starts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! He's had like five really bad matches in a row, so your character's crying the entire time. Mm -hmm. uh, That'd be funny. <laughs> God, your footsteps and your guy starts weeping. Just pisses himself. <laughs> There's a piss noise, so people can hear you pissing on yourself. Yeah, that's, that's some Tarkov realism. You hear that, Nikita? That's Nikita, what we need. That's what we want. Piss sounds. Yeah. <laughs> Are those Don't listen to Queen. Noises? Listen to us. Yeah. yeah. We know. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, those black guys. <laughs> oh, dude. They, did you see the clip in the podcast with... Uh, we talked about this last yeah, time, but... we're bringing it up we're, we got to talk about it so again. <laughs> the, the, the clip will be put in the last podcast. You can go watch it there. Mm -hmm. But there's a clip of Nikita talking to clean Brandon Herrera. Um, I don't know who else. Uh, Pace performance. And that guy who hates the gays. Um Lucas. Lucas. Oh. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> I love how that's his definition now. I, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. And Nikita, obviously, there's some language barrier going on. He's Russian. He doesn't say. Anything. He's just like, yes, yeah, the terrible black guys. It's like, oh no. The, the, the what did black he mean guys to say? are so evil. It was like a, it's a like huge, a huge, ginormous. Group. Yeah, it's oh. like a mercenary group of black ops dudes. Oh, in like in the movie, in the, in the, in the in game. The, yeah, yeah. Okay, Tarkov. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Clean's like, like, you just see Clean's eyes go wide. Brandon's like, <laughs> Brandon was taking a drink and he's just like, no. And Clean's like, you mean the, the black ops? Yes. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> They're huge. <laughs> They're terrible, evil people. <laughs> he's like, them black guys. Oh, yeah, Nikita, no. We will, we will, we will, we will, we will, we will, we will. <laughs> oh, the weeble wobble. That was one of the best Nikita clips. God, I man. Seen that. What is it? He 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 gets stuck trying to say we will. Uh -huh. But he just goes we will 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 Guys, if you don't know, uh, yeah, we usually say stuff without explaining it. Nikita's the creator, like one of the main oh, creators yeah, of Tarkov. Oh, that's a really good point. We don't yeah. ever explain anything. <laughs> He's about saying Tarkov. no. <laughs> Nikita created Tarkov, basically. Yeah, lead dev. Yeah, lead dev. He's awesome. Drives the, a crazy looking Mustang. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it was a Mustang. Just slammed wide body kit, and stereos Dang. in the traits. Hell yeah. And a Mustang brother. in Russia costs a little bit I more. I couldn't imagine. Just a little bit. Yeah. But you know, with, the, with the, all those EOD accounts they're selling, Edge of Darkness yeah, Tarkov accounts, hundred and forty bucks, hundred and forty bucks a piece. Yeah, yeah there's probably a couple million people that have them. I mean, huh. after Tarkov exploded last year, yeah, jeez, it is crazy how like how indie dev Tarkov used to be. Like when I remember seeing the trailers the first time, I'd be like, wow, the gameplay looks really cool. I played their earlier game, Battle States earlier game, Contract Wars. Yep. Mm -hmm. and oh, they had a different game? yeah they oh, had a, they had another game it's the exact same thing but like call of duty it's, yeah it's like a call of duty version of tarkov and it was on web browser and it was uh good. i was <laughs> it was not good i was in the top 15th clan on that game i was yeah, like I mean, a, i was a competitive player and in co really in contract wars <laughs> mm -hmm. did you see they released it finally like new dev team finished it yeah, I like never. Steam? Well, I know that. Yeah, the, what is that one called? It's it's called something else. It, I looked at Donut like he would know. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. They, it's called. It's not called Contract Wars. It's it's something else. Yeah, my phone's up there. I don't remember, but they they have that new game that's basically Contract Wars I too. I thought it was Contract Wars. But there was Hired Ops. Hired Ops. Yes. Hired yeah. Ops. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. My brain worked. So they have three games. Mm -hmm. Battle, Hired Ops. Battle is... State doesn't just create Tarkov. That's what you're telling me right now. Yeah. It's hired ops is Tarkov scenery, Tarkov, but Call of Duty Call mode. Of Duty, yeah, it's, so like, it's like fast paced. I, you, you, it's Tarkov gameplay in like a Call of Duty environment. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So like Will, 
play. It's it like it's like how Will Will plays. Tarkov. <laughs> Will plays Tarkov. <laughs> Will yeah. is a monster. Willers, old Bill, old but William. It's, it's whatever. It's whatever, man. It's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the same. God damn! Give me another one. That's how you sync hey. up the mics, you know? yeah? Yeah, it's the slurping sound. <laughs> the slurping sound really helps sync up the mics. You began way back, operators. We got we got the origin. Oh God! The the lore of Operator <laughs> Drewski. Okay, okay. What what decided that you were like? I want to make fucking YouTube videos. I want to. Is I was it your brother's a, fault? No, I will. Okay, so it was part of it. So yeah. my brother made a video of his of our dog, and we actually had a deer at one point. My you had a deer. My brother Mark at an auction picked up a deer that was malnourished as hell and was about to die. We did you eat it at auction? And at, at, like an auction he worked at. Yeah, yeah. No, he didn't he buy it. The, oh, Sorry. I was about to say yeah. you can buy sick no, deer no. at an auction. <laughs> He Yo, found, Texas is awesome. What a <laughs> fucked up auction no, is He it? was working an auction, found a deer behind a shed, just sitting by itself, super, super skinny oh, baby okay. deer. So we fed it goat milk, and it, it grew up to be a deer and eventually went out in the wild. But nice. uh, while it was at our place, while it was at our ranch, our dog played with it, like ran around a yard with a soccer ball, and they both would kick the soccer ball around, and mm-hmm. that was like a game that they would play. My sister That's recorded wild. it, put it up on YouTube, and then that was Matt's first viral video. It like went on Ellen, went on Anderson Cooper... And that's where we realized, what? like, whoa, yeah. Yeah, like, this was 2008 or something. Like, 2006, maybe. Oh, my God. It was a long wild. time ago. That's OG. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, it was early YouTube. It was one of those videos where, you know, if it had 6 million views, like, that was top 100 videos or something on oh, YouTube. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So, that, that, that sparked Matt to start doing YouTube. And then once I got into high school, I was a terrible student. I never did any homework. Never. That's what video games do. Your tests. Youth, so don't don't let your kids <laughs> play video games. Exactly. To all you dads, to all the Father's Day dads out there listening, don't let your kids play video games. Make sure you go to auctions and buy sick deer. You'll go viral. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I uh, I was planning to get out of high school and go do helicopter stuff. I was gonna go to a place in Bulverde, which is like yeah. just, just around this area. Just north, yeah, yeah. And uh, and I was gonna go get my commercial license there. And so I went there for one day. We looked at the helicopter that I would go train on. We got all the books. I bought all the textbooks. And I went back home and I said, Dad, I was like, I've got this YouTube thing. I upload videos on it just every now and then. I was like, and it's kind of going somewhere. Like I have 10,000 subscribers. I was like, could I, could I sit at home and try like this for three months? Like I was like, could I just see how this goes for the summer? And then after the summer, you know, because helicopter school, you can start whenever. It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all based on you. There's nobody else in yeah, the class. It's, it's not like a regular college or school yeah. schedule. Yeah. yeah, so you can start January, February, doesn't matter. And so my dad was really nice and let me do it because he saw that Matt was succeeding on YouTube. And so I, I went on and started making videos. And in that three months, I went from 10K to 50 and I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Okay, yeah, I've got Damn something. Girl. So I stayed, stayed at my parents' house for another year, did all that stuff, and then I moved out like two years ago, and here I am, million subs. How many are you got now? Big like, YouTuber. Where, where are you at? Like a million and a quarter, I think. Yep. Damn, you were at one point two five this morning because oh, I was yeah. stalking you. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Oh, yeah. You're stalking it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I have a similar story. My mom believed in me, and I lived in her basement for a year, mm-hmm. like a year or two, pushing out yeah. YouTube content. Just we're, trying to get it going. We're definitely fortunate that we have <laughs> parents, yeah, parents that are, that are like, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Cause my dad yelled at me, kicked me out of the house and said, I can't play these video games. Yeah, anymore Cause you're not going to go anywhere. <laughs> my dad, my dad would have done the same thing. That's, <laughs> that's why I send him my YouTube pay stubs now. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Father's Happy Day. Happy Father's, Father's Day. Day. <laughs> <laughs> Told you so. That's wild. Told man. him. Oof. So cool. God, that's cool as fuck. I'm very, did we say you're demolition rant Matt demo Matt from demolition rant? Yeah, we is, didn't say that. Yeah, we didn't say that. That's your, that's the brother that. that we're talking. Matt, that's the Matt. Yeah, yeah. Demolition Ranch's brother. And I also didn't want to like write off his success. I'm sure either. you I never have so, either. So man, I've, which is I've, the coolest thing. I've separated myself. I'm like Matt. I love you, but never shout me out. I ever. Remember, you, see, that's one of my favorite stories. You told me a story once about how Matt shouted you out, or you were on a video with him once. Yeah. And he shouted you out, and then your entire channel comments for like how long was it? It was like a week. It was just talking. Yeah. To it was just about Matt. That was like near like 10k or something. Matt told me he was like, if you hit 10k, I'll shout you out. I was like sick. And so I'm like 15 at this point. So I'm like, that sounds awesome. You know, I'll get more subs he shouted me out immediately it was regret because all of the <laughs> comments were can you play tark can you play arma with demolition matt can you play you know do, just do whatever anything with matt do it yeah next video have matt on and i'm just like oh, okay this isn't yeah this isn't what i wanted i, I don't feel like stick. i earned this and also like yeah so I, I told matt i was like i'll be in your videos just don't like shout me out don't like 
leave a link in the description because I don't want, <laughs> don't want any of your success to come over to me. But, He's uh, very ungrateful, Matt, is what we're, yeah, what we're saying. Yeah. He hates you. Hated him. He's super Hated proud him. of you, though, man. We were talking about you the other day. Really? Yeah, we were, <laughs> we were, yeah I went and had uh, lunch with him two days ago, and he was talking about how proud he is of you for like, Crazy. being able to like pave your own path. Because being in the... It hurts now. Like, dude, doing a, <laughs> dude, especially in the video game world on YouTube, everyone's trying to do it. So, oh, it's, so, so it's so hard. Yeah, yeah, it's super competitive, and you've... You're killing it, man. Yeah. It's a weird niche, too. It's like these Milsim yeah, you, games. Yeah, you and are, you're not doing the typical AAA whatever game of the week, flavor yeah. of the week game. Yeah. You're I mean, doing... the closest I get is like Battlefield. Yeah. But Battlefield's Battlefield. What do you think of the new Battlefield trailer? <gasps> I think I like it, but I also think that but... they could go too close to Warzone and make crazy skins like that take away from like the realism and Absolutely. All there, although it's already not really realistic there's tornadoes that are a man jumped out of a that. plane rocketed another plane and then landed back in his plane i've done that in dcs Which, yeah I know, <laughs> no, like, <laughs> that's always been battlefield yeah, though yeah. It's, it's been call of you duty can't but say, bigger yeah you can't say like battlefield used to be really like yeah battlefield 2 but like that was when battlefield like 1942 was, <laughs> that was when battlefield had like one one hundredth of the players that it has now yeah. Like, yeah. it is a it used to be a indie gay indie indie gay Indie dev, indie game, Lucas. and now it's triple A. <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> uh, no, we he got we batty were... with that one. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> we were so we were talking about last week how like the the devs uh, for the the new Battlefield coming out, they're just sitting around and they're just like high or hammered drunk or something. They're like, all right, what if we just put a tornado in the game? <laughs> it's like. Well, that sounds exciting. Like, Let's wait, do it. Can they ride the tornado? <laughs> <laughs> you saddle up. Like, what the fuck? Wingsuit. Yeah. yeah, at this point, it's like, if, if it was just a normal hardcore battlefield, people would, like, there'd be a lot less people excited about it. it the, the unique gameplay experiences, everybody's like, you know what? I don't, I don't really care for much realism if there's a freaking tornado that I can jump into and get on top Could of a skyscraper with. Could you imagine wings suiting just... Could you imagine just a sniper that's that up on a tower, and now you can just... <laughs> bitch <laughs> like, i'm coming <laughs> like, what the fuck yeah god man yo i like good. having drewski on the podcast more than eli what if we just don't let hey eli don't say back? that i love eli i want him next to me i want him in the same chair just right here this <laughs> is me and my son so eli just rub his chest <laughs> <laughs> we miss you eli happy father's day <laughs> oh eli's a father too. eli's a father too. happy father's day happy eli. father's day you fucking asshole you piece of shit uh, busy <laughs> busy doing work we had to get through to visiting fill in. family <laughs> is that what he's doing oh yeah we saw yeah, him because he's got his dad Eli's looks... father is a wizard <laughs> he definitely is like yeah bring up the photo if that's public uh yeah we'll, like like uh, bring it up at, part, later party later. put up Eli's dad's yeah, picture we'll right it, now it's on his Instagram it's public it's fucking it's, it's a... Eli's father <laughs> like if I was playing World of Warcraft and walked up to this man he would have a very important quest for me. He looks like a wizard. Eli is the son of a wizard, and that explains a lot of it does. everything about Eli. How did we not know his dad was a wizard? He's never told us or showed us his oh. dad before. I think your camera just died. Oh, let me throw a new battery oh, no. in there. Do you know what I got? I got okay. Cody's camera died. He left us. Sad Pepe. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we should get cameras for the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, I was like, how do you guys not have, like, plugged-in cameras? You know, shut the fuck up, Drew. <laughs> how dare you? I mean, I actually could plug mine in. I have a dummy battery right around the corner. Mm -hmm. I'm just a lazy piece of shit. That smells funny. That's, what? Don't smell your batteries. You can tell it's getting, like... Warm? A little heated, yeah. It's a little warm. A little, little heated. <laughs> well, I got the camera last week. Oh, it's because it Batty's... <laughs> It's because Batty's shirt is unbuttoned to there, so that's why it got a little bit warmer. That's it's it's the it's more I drink, the out. more buttons that the more buttons down. go By the down. End of the, night, the shirt's gone. <laughs> <laughs> that or it's wrapped around my head. I don't know where. We'll see where tonight goes. Party, it's fiesta right now. Party, make sure you add all that, but like put it in quotations if you can't tell what I'm saying. I love the triple clap. It always just confuses whoever has to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, party. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But I don't remember what we're talking about. What were we talking about? Lucas. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so you guys heard about what these gays are doing oh, these days? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have brought it up. Oh, man. 
I made a post yesterday, just kind of like oh, I, I, I saw. Just, I just loved steering, steering the steering pot. The man, pot. Just steering doesn't know, Lucas bit. from T Rex Arms made some um, <laughs> some posts on his Instagram recently that are you know I, you know just not uh, that's a that's a mm, mistake, but that was a hard line he took in the sand. Big oof. That was a probably a no no, just probably a no no. He uh. Mm. He doesn't like the case. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on. Moving um, on. E3, Battlefield, tornadoes. Mm-hmm. I'm really excited about that. I don't know. What did what did what did you see at E3 that you're excited about? You didn't watch any of it. Look at him. You didn't. No, really? I watched the Xbox conference. Every other conference was absolute dog shit. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was bad. Wow. It was bad. It was bad. Every okay. every other conference was so bad. Xbox had. Sea of Thieves with Pirates of the Caribbean DLC. And, and our friend group, that was the one we were legit most excited for. I'm geeking Captain over Jack Sparrow is in Sea of Thieves now. Yeah. Like, he was bro, excited about that. I'm still, I have bro. an entire pirate costume like, <laughs> in the other room. I will put it on right now. Like, I'm so excited for Sea of Thieves. We play Sea of Thieves. It's like our 4 a.m. game. Like, if we're Wait, for uh, real? You play Sea of Thieves? You want to play Sea of Thieves? Oh, dude, yeah. I play the fucking Betty's yeah. obsessed with Sea of Thieves. I love pirate. Sea of Thieves. <laughs> I have a fake gold tooth I wear. We play Sea of Thieves. <laughs> we sloop it up. We get hard sweaty in PvP. Do you All just run dual sloops, like four people, or...? No, we. I mean, we can. We sometimes queue in the same server and happen to ally with yeah, the same people. That's what I fucking <laughs> I don't know. Toxic bastard. I don't know what a sloop is. So sloop's the little two person ship, a one or two person ship, and they're really really quick. Mm-hmm. Well, they're not fast. They can turn quick. They can what, turn yeah, quick. It's like a so glass cannon type it's, thing. It's the best kind of. It only has one cannon on each side, so it's, okay. it doesn't do the most damage. But they're they can spin around the big ships. Oh, and just like dun, 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 yeah. just keep fucking hammering them. Yeah. Oh, they're awesome. they're really fun. So yeah, we play that game. That's like our four AM game. So we we were literally saying last week, me and my friend Avi, we were like, yeah, this game has no content. Like we're just playing for the PvP now. We don't even have we we did all the missions and stuff, and we're just sitting here like, why haven't they dropped like a new island or a whole new area? Like come on, they haven't dropped anything. And then we're watching the E three conference, and Jack Sparrow comes on the screen, and we're like. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, and then there's this gigantic DLC that drops, and we're just like, okay, it's coming out like tomorrow. By the way, it's like real soon. It's like tomorrow, the next day. Oh, yeah. that's awesome! Yeah, yeah. actually, I'm so think, excited. I think it might have already dropped. To okay, all right, today. I'll see you guys. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Peace. Um, I just like, dude, it, new ships, mate. Like, how have they not dropped new ships yet? That's what I want to know. I think there's a lot of balancing issues if you have. So, like, my question is, why ships. wouldn't they do different versions of the same style ships? That's like a, good a Corsair, point. a small Corsair style ship, yeah. just like a sloop, one cannon on either side, or just like something of that nature. Like, it's been three years, two years yeah. of, of the same three. Sh- they added skins, but like the same three ships. Like, yeah. change a few lines of code, maybe put someone just on put, it for a, different a couple version, weeks, and then same cannons. Same. Health. I've seen. I've seen a little sketchup that was like a single man ship, one man ship yeah. that had a single cannon, just like on the front or something, facing backwards. So if someone's chase, if you're solo and yeah. someone's chasing you, you're wrecking them, start. and they can't get to you because I mean, that's they have to. Cool. Yeah, I, I was like, that's a pretty cool ship. Like, yeah. and and it would obviously be super easily sinkable if mm-hmm. you did happen to get hit. But if you were good at movement, like I don't know, safeties for anybody watching is like absolutely under you look at the cartoon graphics you're like this is for kids this looks like dude I, I i've said it since the beginning it is one of it, when it first launched it was the most beautiful tech demo of water tech demo yeah and now it's a game <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like i think i said last time it's a thousand miles wide but only an inch deep and they're finally yeah. getting more and more content there's a lot more like i i doing like different athena's quests or mm-hmm. like just any any of the quests now are just fun. Fighting the Megalodon. I, I haven't seen the Kraken yet. That's one thing I haven't done. Oh, really? Yeah, I haven't. You just have to kind of randomly run into it. Yeah, yeah. I know there's like a sound or something like that. I, I, I can the water that. turns black, and you're like, huh. And then they're like tentacles go, and yeah. just bust out. It was like a world boss? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. It's, they're world you can boss. actually fight oh, cool. a Kraken. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get loot from it? Yep. I'm pretty sure. Wait, no, from Kraken? Do you get loot if you kill it? I'm pretty sure. There's still trust. I know. Uh, is it meat, right? Is it, is it, no, like, you're thinking like of the Megalodon. Megalodon. Oh, you're the Megalodon's Megalodon. the meat. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if you get stuff from killing Kraken. I you think have Kraken to get is stuff. You get pity and, and self-harming tendencies when you are in a <laughs> PvP fight, and then that thing shows up, and you get stuck, and you're in the middle, and the other guys are out of the Kraken zone, so they're not being attacked, and they're, and they're just, just circling. Watching, yeah. They're like, eh. <laughs> just watching you die just to, to fucking pick you off at the end yeah it's not it's great. bad it's bad see this has been so much fun 
That's kind of been my late late night game. What yeah. else have you been playing? So, what is what is what has Operator Juicy been doing lately? Man, what have I been playing? Do you want me to look up my Steam library or something? I don't even know. Like DCS has filled my life because you it's it, at DCS you buy an eighty dollar or like a forty dollar plane. That's like the plane itself because the plane is one. Is it, are we one. talking like Star Citizen levels of of investment? Uh, like you gotta I, spend an 80, 80 bucks to get a, a cool ship. Well, it's a plane that you'll have forever, and you yeah, won't ever Star lose Citizen. it. You never have yeah, to. Same thing. Yeah, I mean, it's it's worth it though because you okay. get to learn so much about like the F fourteen Tomcat or something. So I've been playing that, learning different planes and stuff because people like to see me uh, eat shit in planes and then become like a PvP god in them in less than a month, which is really fun. Like, okay, so you're good I'm, at games. I guess I'm, I'm, the, <laughs> I'm the noob, and then I I within a month I just grind so hard that i get really really good at the planes which is a lot of fun but uh been doing a lot of that i don't know uh played halo with my buddies last night just halo, halo one first one yeah oh, it's so good. the pistol it's is so, so good. good the best yeah you never use the you ar just snipe the, you all, just snipe with the all pistol, pistol snipes mm. played halo excited for halo infinite which is supposed to be free to play multiplayer when it comes out cool. i don't know how i feel about halo infinite isn't there supposed to be like like charging and grapples and yeah but i think it's like they know that they can't do it too much. They, they, they're probably going to be crazy cooldowns. Or something. Halo Reach had, like, armor lock and stuff, dude. I know, like, but, like, <laughs> at this point, it's just... We're turning into... Every game's turning into the speed and gimmicks of Call of Duty. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We haven't seen much multiplayer gameplay. I'm so. just grumpy about it. But yeah. I saw, I saw the, I saw the grapple game. thing, and I was like, I want to... This is dumb. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Recipe 3 is kind of poopy, though kind of poopy yeah but that's how e3's gone past few years because there's not people paying tickets they're just watching on twitch so yeah, i feel like the not money and it sucks nobody wants to put ass. the yeah. money into it dude oh uh, never mind yep. <laughs> uh, no i was gonna talk about my e3 experience but i don't need to talk about that oh no oh no, no. I, um, yeah went to a dispensary <laughs> beforehand <laughs> no, showed up Cody, to e3 Cody, no bad <laughs> Now I'm curious. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll now the viewers are curious. <laughs> so I'll tell you, time with Cody. I'll tell you later. <laughs> oh, you tell him later? Uh, should I talk about that? I'm supposed to be like the super pro law enforcement guy who doesn't do the devil's lettuce. I got really high at E3 <laughs> in, in 2019. Where it's legal. It's legal. It's legal there. It was fine. And I met like some of the main devs for uh, Fortnite. You just did the same thing. Shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> there is no proof that anything happened. Daddy's using his new vlog camera. I am too, though. So proud. Yeah, it happened man. to be the camera that was looking at you, too. I know. That one doesn't see you, right? Yeah. That one just sees me and Batty. No proof. <laughs> no Sorry, proofs. editor. Sorry. I like how each time the cameras have died, it's been the camera facing the person that's talking. You're right. <laughs> What's the editor's name? Party. Party pineapple. Party, just zoom into my face right now while Batty hums. <laughs> I bet it. I bet he's actually very not even audible because that microphone's yeah, like super super condenser mic or whatever. Man, I hope that's close to where it was. <laughs> Good enough. So that time about donut being super high. <laughs> super high. <laughs> No, I went to E3 and uh, it was, I think it was 2020. I think it was 2019. Um, and I haven't done the devil's lettuce since I was a young a young man in high school. Since you were Drewski's age. Yeah, since I was Drewski's age. And we went to a dispensary because like, hey, you're in California. Let's Why go not? to a dispensary. It's hmm. legal here. Let's check it out. And I got one of those little vape pens and we were going in and I hit it a little bit. And was like, all right, I'll just chill. Oh, I'm in another world. <laughs> so like, it was really cool. It was like one of the, it was like the second year Fortnite was there and Fortnite had this super huge, like bright display. And I was just, I was just happy. <laughs> and then uh, I went loved, to, you loved Fortnite that day. Yeah, I did. And then I went to the cyberpunk 2077 uh, viewing when they were, and I sat beside Doug Bowser, the president of Nintendo America and watched it and was just like ripped out of my mind. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Some kid asked him for a oh, picture no. and he was just like, no. <laughs> Walked off. I was like, God damn, Doug Pouser's mean. 
So, Doug, I'm just don't hold that against that, me. A man with the last name is Bowser. How did he? Get and that Nintendo. Job? Yeah. And he's mean. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. I think he's got any princesses in his mm. basement. Anyways, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, don't do drugs. Italian men trying to bust into his house. <laughs> right? Plumbers just Jeez. fucking <laughs> kicking his door down. Oh, <laughs> give us no. Give us your girlfriend. Oh. God, dude. So the other day on stream, I opened a lot of magic cards oh yeah yeah. because like we talked in the last podcast about how dungeons and dragons did the crossover with magic the gathering and, and i fucked up the date i put in a little thing i, I fucked up the date it's not till i said june 16th it's july 16th for the pre-release oh so next you, month so you didn't open. i know i did i opened a lot of the the current like expansion called modern okay. horizons 2 but it wasn't the D. it ones. wasn't the D. the okay. D one is until next month so next month I'm going to open magic cards with a boner. This month, I just open magic cards. Do you play any tabletop? No. <laughs> you don't do any. No, I have, I have no friends that have gotten me into it yet. So oh, I'm hey. Just, I'm just, uh, Hi. oh, God. No. I don't know if you noticed <laughs> the room you're sitting in. But yeah. I have a bit of a problem. <laughs> well, like, this is the thing. All of my friends, like, went to Austin or they went to College Station. So they went to, like, UT or they went to Texas A&M. So mm-hmm. I, like, stayed in. Stayed in my town. I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna play video games. Play video games. <laughs> so the only friends that stayed in my town were the people that didn't go to college, and I didn't really have many friends that didn't go to college. So, so all I, your friends that are closer, so all my friends stupid. left. They oh, left. All your they're they're left. an hour and a half drive they're away. A bunch of fucking hippies. Yeah. Okay. Going Basically. to college, what nerds. Awesome. Trying, trying to be Imagine smart. Imagine going to co- you didn't go to college, right? Nope. You didn't go to college. I didn't go to college. <laughs> I didn't go to college. <laughs> Eli didn't go to college. Nope. You hear that, kids? Don't go to college and be successful. Get in your late uh, 20s, early 30s, and finally become successful <laughs> after several divorces and living with your parents. And <laughs> hey, don't do the divorce. Part. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I won't do it. It's all right. Drew is the youngest of our friends, I think. Brandon's 25, which people think he's 40. Yeah, Brandon looks do you know old. That? Brandon Herrera is 25. What? Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. He's two years older than me? Yeah. I look 16 compared to that man. <laughs> <laughs> what? You look 16 compared to anybody. Yeah. He's all right. We don't what? Know just fake. I'm like, I'm sh- wait, no way. Yeah, yeah absolutely. No way he's 25. What the hell? Yeah. Crazy. Only yeah, he looks, factory at 22. looks same age as y'all two. That's weird. Mm-hmm. Oh, so we oh, look young. We're old. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like 45, right? Or something. Yeah, something like that. Only 31. <laughs> How old is Willers? Oh, Will's oh, your age. 22. Will's 22. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Will's the youngest. Will's the cool. youngest. I'm not the but youngest. But it's whatever. Sweet. But it's- <laughs> <laughs> Will had a little teenage moment the other day and we're making fun of him for it we we didn't what, we didn't call him or something to go to brunch and he's like no he, he wanted uh we were all going to demo ranch the film matt's 10 mil thing mm-hmm. and uh he wanted to get brunch but he's like we're all going to brunch right and we're all like no we can't make it and he's like wow i just ended stream for this i'm like we didn't nobody knew <laughs> we, we didn't were... plan <laughs> <laughs> but he's like it's whatever <laughs> <laughs> so now oh, we it's just not keep, whatever. We keep telling him it's whatever. It's Will. whatever. It's really whatever. whatever. We love you, Will. I Will, we love you. We really do. This is this is what we do. We rag on you until you you feel like I have harming yourself, and then <laughs> I haven't met Will yet. So you I'm haven't a... met Will yet? No, I don't think so. He's I don't a good guy. Play you with haven't him? seen anybody in six months. What if you hung out with us? You live since, half since we've been here for eight a... months. Don't now. just drink. <laughs> <laughs> he's going. He's, uh, gotta finish this here. This is my claw. stalling. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. What, are you like up in the Bernie area? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, why the fuck don't we hang out for? I'm just <laughs> like, dude. I'm so. You have a cool car. So, I got a cool car. I got a cool car. I'm like horse eye blinders in work. So We're it's like cool I need to be poked and prodded mm-hmm. and be like, hey, wake up, walk outside. You know, that's it's honestly me when I'm editing. We're gonna come poke and prod you now. Okay. You I'm should down. be part of our circle. 100%. Yeah. It's I'm down I'm down and anyway. afraid. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. No. This is the year that Jeruski just spirals out of control and it's going to be our fault. <laughs> <laughs> like wow. he was a workhorse, now he's with us. <laughs> Fun Ow. stuff. Do you do out. anything else other than just your main YouTube channel? Uh no, I've wanted to start my vlog, but I've just been too busy on the main YouTube channel to start the vlog. <laughs> What, what, you what? want to start blogging with me? Uh, I just start. I just got my camera. Oh yeah! By the way, Batty just started. Oh blogging. yeah. Well, I don't know if st- 
started the word. I got the camera. This is it, right? Maddie got the same this camera I use for vlogging. That's me. This is mine. It's the same camera. It's the same. It's the <laughs> Sony ZV-1. It's really cool because when you open the screen, the camera turns on. So it's made for vloggers. It's really neat. Batty's going to make some really good vlogs of him waking up, uh, screaming at the camera, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, streaming. Probably maybe. drunk. Probably drunk a lot of drunk Batty, <laughs> yeah, hanging out with the meat. It's going to be me and Donut <laughs> vlogging the same each vlog. other from different angles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So you're starting your vlog soon? I want to, yeah. I've got Do you have the. A name? Uh, it's just Drewski. So it's, they're operated Drewski, and then there's just Drewski. You, but uh, you got Drewski. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's actually a DJ Drewski. Fun fact. Not, Fuck that I'm not guy. A DJ. What if you vlogged with him? I don't know. He does a lot of like interviews. So like sometimes when people look me up, they're like, "Yeah, I got you, Mitchell, but a DJ." I'm like, yeah, because there's DJ Drewski, who's like actually kind of like popular. Uh, Does he but, got like 10,000 subs? I don't know. I don't know what he's at, but he's, he's DJ. He, he does a lot of productions <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> we're, so, we're sorry. We don't know you. <laughs> that he's just angry all the time. <laughs> what, what I do? <laughs> Fuck <laughs> this guy. I'm sorry. Yeah, somebody's going to clip it and send it straight to DJ. <laughs> I know they are. Everyone clips everything you do. That's like, I'm aware. that's the crazy thing about the internet. You know, I, I've got almost 3 million subs and like people clip my shit every once in a while, but every time you say something, people clip it and then put it on Twitter and it's the best. <laughs> 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 you know, it's because when I say things, I, I usually say it really loud and angry. And, True. And for some reason, people like loud and angry. I don't know why. I don't get it. It's dumb. You have some of the best clips on Twitch, though, man. You really should have yeah. like a clip channel or something on YouTube. That's what my YouTube rep was just telling me to do. He was saying make a clip channel, short clips, because like the young. Don't operator gaming? I have that, but I'm going to go subscribe I'm, now. Donut operator clips is about to be a thing because mm. he, my rep was talking about how like kids attention spans are so short. It's like, you know, you got the, the TikTok and the, the reels now on uh, Instagram. Instagram yeah. People want to see like 10 it's seconds, crazy. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. So you take a 10 second clip of you doing something cool and you just make a whole channel of that. People will be like, Oh, cool, 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 and cool. You, yeah. They're to watch the entire fucking video too. Mm. Hmm. So that's what, so when I first started doing YouTube stuff, I did what I called shorts. They were just like two fuck a minute and a half to two minute small funny whatever moments, and, mm -hmm. and I just stopped doing it because I'm lazy. But apparently, that's, that's coming back, man, because people's attention spans are so bad. Party, <laughs> party, <laughs> party was the new edit. Dude, you could do a two. whole. Dude, you could. Uh, I'm telling you, you would do so good if you had batty clips, and it's just your craziest moments on stream, ten to twenty seconds. People would eat that up, T guys. In the comments below, God damn it! Tell us how bad you want a baddie clips YouTube channel that you can just. I hope everybody just says no. I'm gonna comment no. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be our most downvoted fucking video. All right? Where's Eli? <laughs> Why isn't Eli here? <laughs> Eli <laughs> lost weight. <laughs> I mean, you have the same facial hair as Eli. Oh uh, no, he his mustache actually. What just happened? What just it's better? Uh, Jessica just broke my Oakleys. I'm just. Point it's, fine. Yes, it's fine. Everything. It's fine. You just broke my Oakleys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's fine. All right. You, you know you bring her. Can you grow a things. beard? No. Is this this is literally what? Do you shave? Yeah. Oh yeah. I definitely shave. Oh, so I just, yeah. that's just how it looks. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I definitely I definitely have to shave. What? It's definitely, I would have a goatee. I would not have a beard. So you literally are just like Eli. Yeah, but I can't, like, I can't, I can't grow a beard. I can't grow a beard, but I can grow a goatee. Okay. Yeah. Have you thought about growing a goatee? No. What well, I, I mean, I thought about it, but then rejected that thought. <laughs> but like, what if It'd you... be a mistake is what I'm, what I'm saying. The mustache. Comment below if you think Operator Drewski should grow, should grow a goatee. The mustache was a meme, and so many people told me. You got a shaved mustache that I just like that you fueled me to, to keep the mustache. Yeah, I mean, I feel that. No, yeah. it's not bad. Yeah, I, I, I mean, like, I literally had no care. <laughs> <laughs> I can't grow a beard. You know. Yeah, me either. It's my son. I could probably, I could <laughs> seriously bring him around, and people would think that's my son. <laughs> people have asked if uh, I was Matt's son. Really? I was like, yeah. I'm like, they're like, are you Matt's? Are you Dumo Matt's son? Are you doing my mom's cousin? Like, I had a guy... Had a yes, my name's Lincoln. Is that a car? Yeah, they named Link, after, Link Active after me. I'm wearing the joggers right now. Actually, really comfy joggers. Just yeah. shout out. Shout, shout out, out Mayor Carrick. Link Active. 
I had a guy. Probably. You had a guy what though? Huh? Yeah, oh, I had a guy at a car dealership ask if i was matt's like he like recognized me he was a dealer there mm. and he was like operator drewski and i like turned around i was like oh no and then i looked and it was like a dealer i was like hey man what's up and he was like dude you're matt's son right i was, just <laughs> like, I was like this guy's like 35 40 years old i'm like how do you how do you think like he's like 12 years above me in age i was like how can you think that i'm his son like did he have a child in middle school <laughs> yeah, right. matt was really busy in middle school <laughs> I mean, people get it confused. I'm, taking a, that's, I'm gonna call you Matt Sutton from now on. I guarantee it. people have said Matt Ling? no, no, Drewski. <laughs> Drew, 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 Drew. We You're... spoke to him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But, but yeah, that's the thing. I barely ever mention it, so people don't know because it's like unless they find the one time out of like a year that I mention it, maybe on a live stream, then people just don't know. So they find it like they find out that I'm related to him. And they're like, how could he? I think he's a son of. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely his kid, right? Like, it's gotta be, for sure. Oh man! All right, boys, I'm gonna go do Father's Day things. Yeah, yeah. We gotta go. Like, since I'm the only dad here. Yeah, Batty. You I'm sure? not a dad. Sure. I, I, mean, I mean, he doesn't know, but yeah. To all of yeah. my children out there, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't get a card <laughs> today, and I'm a little disappointed in all of you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Us Thanks, kids. <laughs> Podcast. Idiots. I'm Batty. There's Donut. Please go check out Operator Drewski on YouTube, and make sure you tell him to start his vlog channel called Drewski. Or he started post- it. Poopski. Follow Poopski. it. Poopski. 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 Drewski. Thank you. Go listen and follow, subscribe, like, do the thing. I hate you all, Eli. <laughs> don't come back. That's it. <laughs> Have a fantastic day, everyone. <laughs>